very well by the way guys i am actually sharing a lot of content uh, a different kind of content with you guys there is this uh, reaction episode uh, reaction video which will come up uh, soon uh, on this channel so stay tuned for that I, i hope you have a wonderful time watching that so the first news that we have is of jack jack wilshire on his instagram story uh, shares this that he was in attendance alongside arsenal's head of football academy per matter sacker um at the arsenal under 23s papa john's trophy game against newport county and of course arsenal won 4 3 thrilling game thrilling encounter jack wilshire has shared where he was he was at rodney parade ladies and gentlemen so jack was there to witness it would we see jack in uh, you know just like uh, in a role just like what per matter sacker is doing that's 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 about to be seen whether that is going to happen or not so talking about more stuff emil smithro says arteta has spoken to us and given us so much confidence to stay calm in front of goal we know we're going to be getting into these positions because we are both young players we've got to stay as calm as possible and just focus on the goal so i think uh, emil smithro is training and working really hard to be you know um, to be a part of um, you know scoring scoring midfielders to be a part of that list of a premier league players that are scoring from the midfield as well so moving on let's talk about certain stats so adam ravoge on his uh, twitter account has shared some really awesome things about florian wertz linked with arsenal and uh, he, this guy is really i don't know what he's doing he's just killing bundesliga at the moment not in not not just bundesliga a lot even in certain international games he's just crazy crazily good So Florian Wirtz is averaging 2.46 goal creating actions per 90 minutes this season. 2.46 goal creating actions per 90 minutes. Nearly a full GCA. Full goal uh, score goal creating actions above the next in line. Who's second in the list? Herving Lozano with 1.57. This guy has 2.46. And you know uh, uh, while taking out this data he considered minimum 270 minutes played. So only Karim Benzema has logged more goal creating actions than Florian Wirtz. Wirtz has 10 goal creating actions, Karim Benzema has 11. He's second in the whole of Europe. This guy is crazy, crazy good. Florian Wirtz is really having a blast in this Bundesliga season. This is this is his breakout season maybe. But let's talk about Nicola Pepe. Nicola Pepe has uh, he has 1.96 xG this season, which is the most in the Premier League amongst the players that have not scored a goal. Sad, you know who are behind him? Harry Kane and Francisco Trincao from Barcelona. 1.7 is their xG without scoring a goal. Well, Patrick Bamford has two fewer goals than xG, but he has scored once, and that's why he's not in the list. But yeah, unbelievable stats, unbelievable, unbelievable things. But also, uh, uh, high highest percentage, highest percentages of shot creating actions coming from dead balls in the Premier League this season. a minimum of 15 shot creating actions number 1 on that list is luke shaw with 46.2% number 2 on that list is nicola pepe 45% 9 out of 20 9 out of 20 ladies and gentlemen so third is matt ricci fourth is pascal gross and fifth is lucas dean so you can understand nicola pepe is is working is working hard you know i just can't say that no he's not working ig believes that there's no way there is there is 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 not that bad at all so uh, previous comments of banaro silva about uh, um um yeah mikel arteta has been resurfaced he says that uh, no i think i think this is a recent one he says i speak for myself and i think i speak for the group when we when arteta left people were sad because he was someone we really liked working with he offers a lot even though he was not the first team manager he acted like he was a little bit in terms of helping and how present he was uh moving to arsenal was a great opportunity for him uh, we were sad for the team but happy for him it's coming from banaro silva man that's really cool that's really cool lovely it's really awesome but now it's time for banaro to leave manchester city as well the big question is where will he move if israel madrid coming for him not yet barcelona well they might want him but nobody <coughs> nobody gives a damn uh, if uh, they might want him that's not the case If you want him, you have to come and get him, and that's that's the whole story. That's the whole story. So, talking about different stuffs, let's talk about another player linked with Arsenal. It looks like Arsenal are interested. Oh wait, no wait, no wait. Yep, sorry, let's just talk about David Raya first. So another club has entered the uh, uh, entered for David Raya. It's Everton. 
why would he are they giving away Pickford what what, what? well many of his teammates Raya has, has done excellent for what he's done for the bees Daily Mail recently reported that Arsenal had the Spaniard on their radar yes uh, but Calcio Mercato lists that Mikel Arteta still admires him but more importantly even Rafa Benitez Toffees did bring Asmir Begovic in the summer and they do have Jao Virginia out in loan with Sporting but perhaps Benitez is hoping to provide stronger competition for Jordan Pickford but I don't think so I, I'll tell you one thing David Raya would not want to move to a club where he's number two he would want to be number one and that's 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 right that's that's how it should be i guess let's see now the player that i've been talking about no way no way no way okay okay fine fine we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it. Did I forget did I forget about it did I forget okay I, I forgot i guess okay 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 I'll, I'll 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 try to do it at the end so it looks like arsenal can give alex lacazette a new contract According to Charlie Gordon says that Arsenal have received fresh motivation so that they could tie down Alex Lacazette due to a new contract after reports that Smith and Bukayo Saka are using his experience to develop further. The Frenchman is no closer to signing a new contract because you know Arsenal have to provide him some big money so that Lacazette stays. But it looks like Emil Smithro, uh, his recent comments state that Lacazette is actually helping them grow well and. That could be one of the reasons why Alex Lacazette could be given a new contract. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But here's another source from Torino that says that Torino are open to selling Andre Bellotti and Arsenal are among the clubs interested in the striker. According to, according to Torino Granata, they report that uh, the, by the, uh, they report that Arsenal are interested in signing Torino striker Bellotti, the 27-year-old who won Euro 2020. That Italy international is out of contract at Torino in the summer of 2022. So Syria are outfit are open because he's not signing a new contract and Balotti to Arsenal. Last season for Torino, 13 goals and 6 assists. Um, and a season before that, 16 goals for Torino and found the back of the net 15 times in a season before that. So, yeah, Balotti has really, uh, you know, done a lot. And I don't know, I don't know if he's going to be, you know, interested uh, or he would be the one that Arsenal are going to go for. So, Thomas Frank has reacted to, I, I don't know how and when was he linked to replace Mikel Arteta at Arsenal. I don't know. I don't know. So let's hear out what he had to say. Uh, he's, he's actually said, saying that he's happy at Brentford. Yeah, we are happy with Arteta as well. What are you talking about? So, Frank says, one, I have a contract until 2023. Two, I'm insanely happy to be in Brentford. And then he says that Arsenal and United. Wasn't that how it was? I think I read that at some point. It's very sweet, but one thing is rumors and something else is if they really wanted to contact me, then we have to take it from there. So no, apparently no contact has been made. Everything is just rumors, but more importantly, not just talking about rumors. Thomas Frank has really done fantastic at Brentford, but the season is not just about seven games. It's about more. So let's see where he ends up by the end of the 38 games in the season. Then we'll talk, then we'll talk. We already hyped Leeds United a lot, but you know you know what happened with Leeds United, right? Yeah. So William Saliba over the international break, ladies and gentlemen. Two games, two wins and two clean sheets. The guy is really, is a phenomenon. He's doing a fantastic job. And you wouldn't say, you wouldn't say anything else. He's, he's a fantastic young lad, fast, fantastic young lad and doing a very good job. Very good name for himself as well. So... Talking about the next news that I said that Arsenal are swooping in for another youngster is none other than the Ajax fullback Nasser Mazrovi, Mazrovi or whatever you want to call him as. So uh, apparently, Arsenal are reportedly interested. According to Fishages, they're interested in making a uh, swoop for Ajax defender Nasser Mazrovi, who will be out of contract at the end of the season. Now it looks like the Ajax's Moroccan right back is not signing a new deal. And uh, apparently, yeah, he's a good, uh, he's a good, yeah, he started the new season on a strong note, bagging four goals and three assists from 11 games across all competitions. So he's one for the future and he's not signing a new deal, which means Barcelona have been linked with him for, uh, and now Arsenal have also entered the fray for his signing. So it's a competition for uh, Takeiro Tomiyasu. So what happens to Cedric? Nobody knows. What happens to Ainsley? Nobody knows. What happens to uh, um, Hector? I think he's not he's, he's not in the plans at all so it's clear we know i think what happens to hector 
So let me know in the comments. Would you do you know anything about Nasser Mazrawi? If you know, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe and let me know how do you find the new content. Let me just post it first. Yeah, cheers.